So now that you've closed the shift, the following process that you need to make sure you do is square wear your current shift. Now, there's a couple of steps in here, and all we're gonna do is use a calculator and a couple of sheets with very, very simple math. The first step we need to make sure we do is the scratch off for the lottery and printing out the lottery ticket report for your current shift. So let's just go over there and show you how we do it. All right, so for us in order to count the scratch offs and write it down in this piece of paper, all we have to do is really come here and see the last three digits of this right here. And then write that number down in our ending ticket right here, which will obviously be our opening ticket for the following shift. As we write it down, we just go over one by one. We say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we go all the way down to number 32 and we write it all down right here. From there, we of course, we print the sales report for the tell me tickets right here. That's right there. We print it, hit print. We have that report there, scratch up sales of the day. We print it as well. With these two tickets and everything of the scratch outs counted, we can then end square off our current shift. So after we have written down all the ending tickets, as you can see right here, all the ending tickets for the scratch offs, we then need to write it down in the starting ticket of the following one, as you can see right here, ending ticket number 10 and the starting ticket 10, ending ticket six, starting ticket six of the following shift. From there, of course, the ticket value, we write it down the same right here. And then from there, we multiply the difference. So for example, if the starting ticket is 10 and the ending ticket is 11, we obviously sold one ticket in this case. And if the ticket value is 30, we multiply one by 30 equals 30. Then we do the exact same thing for all the other ones. In this case, for example, starting ticket is six, ending ticket is seven. We sold one ticket and we multiply that by 30. As you can see, it's 30. This one, starting ticket is seven, ending ticket is 12. We obviously sold five. Five times 20 equals 100. So the sold value, we write it all down right here. And then at the end, we add it up all up. And this gives us this number right here. $660 worth of sold value of daily scratch off ticket for the lottery. From there, we basically write it down and we put it aside. Afterwards, we have reports that we printed from the machine, the lotto machine, right? Now, here's something to take into account. At night, you will have two reports. You will first have the report that was printed on the previous shift, this, which is this one right here, and then also the report that was printed in your current shift, because the lottery machine does not print only the current shift, but it prints out all the sales that happen until that very moment, which I'm gonna explain more here in a bit. Here's the actual paperwork that we have when we finish the actual shift that we need to square away and that we will use later on or the people in the office will use later on to make sure that the daily report is squared away and nice and neat. So first of all, here we have right here, this is the close shift receipt or report. And what we're gonna do is take out the calculator and look for the total sales. So in this case, it's gonna be 4,670. And we're gonna subtract this minus the old sales right here. This sales right here, the difference between everything is we want to make sure and learn how many sales happened inside the store alone without counting the sales that happened outside the store on the gas station. These are the total sales that happened both inside and out. And these are the sales that happened only outside. So we subtract this right here. And this gives us 2,178.67. These are the sales that happened inside the store. From here, we write that number down right here, as you can see. Afterwards, we go over to all departments and we look for the lottery lines, which is seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we look for the numbers that are right here on the right-hand column, which are the sales. This one, this one, this one, and this one. In this case, we will take number 10, which is the scratch of 660, and we'll add it, which is $714. So right here, we put lottery machine 714. From there, we actually go to the lottery report. Remember, the lottery machine is different from the actual cashier. What we just saw was the actual cashier, the report from the cashier. Now we just have to find how much is the actual lottery machine reporting. In this case, we're gonna mark this pays, and then we're gonna mark right here, the pays we're gonna use later, and the net sales. So in this case, we have 
right here, the lottery ticket. These are the pays, the lottery ticket. We subtract, remember this is the nice shift, so we subtract the ending shift minus the prior shift in order to have only the sales that happen in that specific shift of the lottery. So we have 88 minus 34 equals $54. This process to subtract the ending lottery report minus the prior shift lottery report only happens in the last shift of the day. In this case, it's 54. We add that, and then we add it to the 660 that we had in this right here. And of course, both in this case are $714. If by any case, right, one is doesn't equal the other, in that case, we need to put it right here and we put the difference. Afterwards, in this case is zero. So we have 2,178.67 plus zero or minus zero, right? Obviously is the same amount. And this amount, we put it also in the total need box. From here, we finish with this particular sheet and we keep going. This cash are the safe drops that were made during the entire shift. And these can be found at the end right here. As you can see, it says 1,020. It says 1,020 right there. So we just put 1,020. Afterwards, we add the credit and debit cards, which are these two right here. That gives us 3,652.36. But remember that this are the total sales that happen inside the store and outside the store as well. So we need to subtract what happened outside the store in order to get what happened inside. And we just go right here, all DCRs, mop sales right here, which equals 1,160.21. And this is the number that we put right here next to credit and debit cards in our paper. Afterwards, we go and find the actual lottery pays, meaning the cash out. So we go right here and we see that the number of pays is 357 plus the amount of pays that were done. Obviously we subtract, in this case we see that there's zero before, 367, so 367, 57 minus zero is 357. So that we added up with, in this case, that equals 362. We write it down 362, and then we go to all departments into the same lottery line. In this case, it's line eight and nine. So we add line eight and nine, 357, 362. In this case, an example, both are the same. And for whatever reason, the numbers don't match. Obviously you subtract the top minus the bottom and you put right here plus or negative. In this case is zero, right? Then from here, what we do is add 1,020, which is the total cash or save jobs that were made, plus credit and debit cards is, that equals $2,180.21. We put it right there. And then we subtract this number minus the number we got at the top. In this case is 2,178.67. So that gives us an over of $1.54. This allows us to see and square away the entire shift to make sure that the cash in equals the cash out and everything is controlled. This is how per shift we control the cash that's collected, the cash that's handed out, how many lottery tickets were sold, how many lottery tickets were won. And then from here in the office, we square away the entire shift that leads into the entire day and that leads into the master spreadsheet, which obviously is in the office that's done. Something to take very, very important and take into account is that the person who squares away the shift and squares away the day cannot count the money that's in the safe drop once in the office, okay? So if you're working inside the office, you cannot be the same person that does this process and that counts the money. Why? Because security protocol. If you're able to obviously count the money and then do this, you can forge the thing. And that's something we definitely don't want. So make sure that if you're doing this process during the day, you're closing and squaring the day or squaring the shift, you're not also the same person who's also counting the money inside the office. But in short, this is as simple as that. From there, we obviously counting the cigarettes, we add it here, we write it all down, and then we have the entire shift finish and square it away from here, go like this have everything mixed out, we finish everything, we staple it, and we have finished our process in order to square the shift up. And of course, after you have finished every single shift, you have finished the entire day. This is how you square every single shift 
in order for them to be inputted into the computer and into the daily spreadsheet inside the office. Heaven Delian Market. Enjoy more for less.